I don't know much about art, but I know what I like. Decent art, clean art, art to lift the heart, stiffen the sinews, gird the loins, and unite the nation as we march into Brexit. Another thing I know about art is what I don't like, and that's this. <laughs> I spent a good part of my weekend rolling around in that, and worse, here. The Florence Institute for Bad Boys in Toxteth, Liverpool. A beautiful 19th century house of correction, left derelict for years, until it was beautifully restored by Prince Charles, out of his own pocket. Now a so-called community resource, a cultural hub, on Saturday, the Florence turned itself over to a festival of degenerate arts. An atrocity exhibition of the perverse anarchy which has sapped this nation's vital essences for more than 50 years. Provocative use of psychedelic counterculture slang. Courtesy of the radical Leninist Northampton Arts Lab and a shady organisation by the name of Super Weird Substance. The Florence is under the control of this woman. I asked her to defend herself. It's disgraceful. The, the behaviour today is absolutely terrible. I blame the bananas. All our bananas are straight and it's down to Brexit. Well said. Disgraceful. Her words, not mine. But sadly, this was the last admission of shame wrung out of anyone in that building on that day. What does any of this mean? It's a corner shop. So um, this is, I mean, there's a lot of pretentious, bouncy shit going on down here. There's a lot of artists, a lot of poets, a lot of, what should we say? Um, a lot, 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 uh, lot, lot of bouncers, a lot of potential shit here. This is kind of like the, this is the sacred contemplative space where it's the, this, you know, your, your corner shop is the front line, sort of sacred space. This is like the, um, it's, like, it's like a church. It's a, it's a place where you can go and you can be safe. None of that sort of shit, none of that gentrification can come and get you in your local corner shop. This is a really safe space. Um, so yeah, this is, this is your corner shop. What was any of this? got to do with Brexit. What does any of this mean? What does it mean to you? With respect, I, I, I am nothing to do with art. How do you defend degenerate art like that in the age of Brexit? Well, I think with the atmosphere of depravity that we're experiencing now, I think whatever pictures a person does on a two-dimensional sur surface is hardly something to get excited about when we've got a bunch of clowny bond sticks uh, running everything. Uh, I personally don't have any investment in uh, Theresa May or the fact that she's a slag for the attentions of Donald Trump. I mean, I as a person who have been personally through a pornography trial and had all my comic books burned. Uh, I'm, sure, you know, I'm sure that was for good reason. Uh, Obviously nothing I saw in there shocked me. I remember when all this nonsense started and I've watched in horror ever since. Because I remember art 
And by it, I mean pictures and statues, not half a cow, a soiled bedding. Art about great men doing great deeds, Bible scenes, views of rural life at dusk, great royal occasions, church business. Art is not having some abstract idea or feeling or fear or hope and attempting to realise it in any old form that you think is relevant or appropriate. Art is painting a picture of a horse that looks like a horse and not any old horse, that horse. Obviously it all went wrong in the 1960s. The art world had always been riddled with deviance, but until then uh, these people were known only to the eternal liberal elite. The common man, the man in the street, you, me, enjoyed blissful ignorance. He couldn't have told you a Picasso from a Pablo. And even if he could, he'd tell you they were both rubbish. And so would his wife. And then along came the Beatles, and the sex, and the drugs, and Andy Warhol. This isn't art. It's soup. It's a symptom of the washed up detritus of a failed 20th century experiment in communist groupthink, political correctness. And once we swallowed this, the floodgates opened and our culture drowned. They won. They beat us. Literally. This is Alan Moore. Um, you've contributed a good deal of work to what I could only describe as a festival of degeneracy here today. How can you justify artwork of this kind in the age of Brexit? How can you defend art of this kind? With violence. Violence. Modern art is violence. Red pill. Swallow it!